What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets, back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. So, I've kind of been saving up uh, all my packs and stuff just to do kind of a variety pack opening. So, we have some large quick sells from all of the bronze players that I put into trophy sets. So, we're going to open those. Those will actually give us... Um, the way the new quick sells work is you get one, but you need to open six quick sells... And each of them could be worth up to a million coins. So trying to test out and see if that's like a viable coin making method uh, or whether that's just kind of a waste. Because if it's just going to give me a bunch of 1000s, then I'm not going to really want to do it. And then these uh, these sets are actually or these packs are from the finals collectibles that I was getting from the pro packs earlier. So I'm going to check these out and just see. Uh, what they're looking like. So I'll go ahead and open those up first and see what we get. So it's a finals pro pack. Uh, so not not really a great... Oh, wow, that's a lot of cards. Um, so not really anything good. We got two golds. I'm guessing that's probably the standard. Uh, so we get Al Horford right there, which isn't bad, but not really of any use to us right now. So we'll open the next one. Whoa. Okay, that was way way less cards and it was just a 76 evan fournier uh after this video or uh after i'm done with the other packs i'll probably go back and see what the standard is for those because this is just really weird um okay so not really anything good in those so that was a little bit disappointing hopefully we can get some better pack luck on the quick sells and then after this we're going to try to try our luck on some hoops packs. So, okay, that is an interesting format. So, one quick sell. So, this is four of each trophy. So, five golds, which is worth about 20,000. Or, no, four golds. So, that'd be about, yeah, 20,000 because those are about 5,000 a piece. And then for silvers, those are about 1,500 a piece. So, that's another 6,000. And then bronze is like 200 a piece. So, we'll just add another 500. Um, so that costs about 25,000 for us to do, and it looks like we only got about 7,500 back. So for the first one, not really worth it, but keep in mind that we can get up to a million on this. Uh, so we get a 10,000 right there. That's a little bit better, uh, but still not quite making back our coins. So we're aiming for around 25,000 in order to make our coins back. So we're going to keep going. We get a 7,500, but still not making those coins back. So it's not looking great right now, but I think it's going to depend a lot on your luck. So we get a 7,500 and a 10,000. So that one's better. That was almost making back our coins. I know a lot of people have been using this as a coin making method, uh, but right now it doesn't seem too viable, especially considering how many quick sells under a thousand I'm getting under or around a thousand so that one was pretty good that one's 15,000 maybe a little bit more uh, and we got one more so hopefully we can get at least one good quick sell uh, yeah that was actually our worst one yet so a little bit disappointed with the new quick sells um, also it's gonna take a while to sell all of those just because there's so many which is gonna be kind of annoying but we're going to hop on over to the Pro Packs, see if we can get some better luck. And right now, it's not looking great. Um, so it might just be I'm not having good pack luck this morning, <laughs> which is highly likely. Um, I might try it again later as we get two of those finals collectibles. So that was pretty good. Um, although I'm not really sure... I was very confused by that first finals pack because there were like 20 cards in it. Ooh, there's a DeRozan. That's a pretty good, it's a solid pickup. Um, 200 bronze players. Wow, that's a lot. Um, so, yeah, just trying to get some guys to upgrade my lineup. And it looks like right now I'm not getting a whole lot. I did add in those Westbrook cards to my lineup that I pulled the other day. And that did help. He's actually very solid in gameplay. Uh, he has a really good mid-range jumper, so that's very helpful, especially since they decrease the odds of three-pointers significantly. So he's actually been pretty beastly for me. Um, 
he usually scores most of my points because I usually just do a step back mid range jumper and he hits it almost every time. So we get some terrible pack luck right there, and I don't really want to end it on that. So I'm gonna go and buy a pro packs until I pull an elite. So let's see what we can do. I've also been trying to save up elite trophies in order to get that shack card. I'm going to try to get it as soon as I can and do some gameplay. So it turns out the uh, price of elite trophies is a lot lower than I thought it was. Uh, maybe it was just way high whenever the sets first came out, but they're actually 7000 now. Which is really helpful because that takes the price of getting him down to like 700000 rather than a million. So I think I'm at 30 elite trophies right now. So hopefully I'll be able to get him in the next one to do two days and do a little bit of gameplay with him just to show you guys uh, how he plays and that kind of stuff. Uh, really just having terrible pack luck right now, getting mostly 76s. Because of the fact that it's easier to get golds, the price of golds are actually going down as well as the price of elites, which I'm guessing you guys have found out uh, if you've tried to buy a golden or an elite any time recently. Uh, there are elites selling as low as 30000 and I think the price of gold is down to at least 5000 if not less. So you kind of got to keep an eye on the market just so you know what you need to sell your cards for. Uh, it was just annoying for me because I sold them all at the price that I thought they would sell, and it was like 200 cards and none of them sold. So uh, I had to go back and uh, list them all again, which was just annoying considering how long it took. So we get a Paul George impact. Still can't seem to pull an elite, and I'm not sure why. Oh, all right, there we go. Uh, so we get Draymond Green, right? As I said, we couldn't get an elite. So uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Basically, in summary, not worth it for the quick sells right now. Uh, but I am probably going to keep putting my bronze players into trophy packs and then selling those trophies since they have a pretty good price right now. But that's going to be about it for this episode. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.